Hi, my name is Peter, and we're here at Live Outside, and I wanted to show you guys what I think is the best value paddleboard on the market. It's a company called Drift, and what you really want to know is the company that's behind Drift, which is Boat, and Boat is one of the largest inflatable paddleboard manufacturers on the planet. So when you're browsing Amazon here, there, maybe you just want to get it on the water, you want to get it on a board for an inexpensive price point, but you don't want uh, a low quality and you don't know necessarily what you want to buy. Be reassured that the company behind Drift is the largest manufacturer right now of high quality paddle boards in both hardboards and innovators in inflatable products. So high quality production and a company that's really standing behind. And here at Live Outside, we also handle all our customer service issues with any board and we're here to ensure that you get out on the water on the best quality product. The drift board and why we think it's the best value, um, there is a similar model from Boat called the Breeze and it is one of our number one sellers. So what they did was they just streamlined it down a little bit and made the drift model which can be had for $6.99 Canadian. So that's a really good budget um, we've used these in our waterfront rental programs for years and they go through hundreds of people getting out on the water every season and they always they always pull through as through multiple years of, of durability so but they are lightweight so that's the number one point is how do I get into the water if you're a smaller paddler um, you don't want to be carrying something really, really heavy in an inflatable. So their single layer construction makes this 19 pounds. It's really easy to get to the water. Um, other details and what's gonna make it really easy to use and get this board out on the water. You have a really nice foam grab handle on the front of the board in the center to carry. So that's gonna help you pull it out of the water uh, but there's also a grab handle right on the stern. So if you come up to a dock, it's gonna be easier that way to get out of the water. Um, you've got a triple um, and very wide deck bungee um, and all metal D-rings. So I, you know, versus we've seen higher end boards with plastic D-rings that don't last a season. So it's really nice to see on this, on this board to see these metal D-rings. I love how they run these bungees really, really wide they're a heavy gauge and they keep your load. Uh, you know, a lot of people putting a life jacket underneath there, maybe you don't want to wear it, but at least it's there um, on the deck for Transport Canada. Um, it's also adjustable, so they've built in um, some adjustability there to tighten it up. Um, here on the main part of the board, uh, what we really like is a, uh, a full deck pad. It's a very soft EVA. So for new paddlers, um, you don't get, tend to get sore feet with this deck pad. Um, they do a very, very wide slat. So these little channels shed the water off the deck, but they also make it very comfortable for your feet. Uh, for those people who want to use their board to get out and do yoga, it's really nice that they did a full and long deck pad, but also filled the center. So there's no split in the center seam. So if you want to lie down on your back, and just chill on the water, really, really comfortable. Um, that little center strap is also uh, fully padded, so it does lay fairly flat, um, so it's not getting in your way. But if you did want to do yoga on the water, it's really nice that deck pad kind of works for that use. Um, on the rear, you do have a diamond um, check pattern, which is going to have a little bit more traction. So. If you did want to get a foot back on this board for more maneuverability, you do have a little bit more traction. Also, if you're out on the water and you find it easier, sometimes when we're instructing people uh, to sup, it's sometimes easier to get up onto the back. So this is gonna be an area here that might give you a little bit more traction with your hands or to inch up on the back. Some people find that easier than getting up on the side. Um, Every board includes a coil leash, so a really nice high quality coil leash. 
Um, we do advise all of our customers uh, to use a coil. It does have a spindle, so it doesn't get all bound up. Um, it's not a slack line, so it's just you know $50 leash in there with it, and uh, better to have the leash on than a life vest if you're looking for safety. Um, the paddle, it is an aluminum shaft paddle. It's reasonably light. It's a high quality blade, so very resilient. We've never seen one of these break. Um, so good first time paddle. Uh, is it going to be the paddle for every paddler? No. If you outgrow this, we have a wide selection of, of better paddles, um, but it has your full adjustability and ideally to be to get it on the water, I think it's an excellent uh, combination with this board. Uh, you are included a safety kit. So there is a tool for the rear, uh, two patches that match colors on the board in the vinyl uh, that are in that kit, and glue. You'd be surprised how many um, boards on the market come with a repair kit, but no glue. So you have to go source some glue elsewhere. They do a nice big packet of glue, and there's an excellent online video on how to repair your board. Uh, probably the best video on YouTube, I'd say. Um, then you get a two-stage pump, excellent pump, um, and the highlight is probably the bank. So at this price point, most boards aren't going to come with a bag that has rolled stitching. Um, it has a big 12 millimeter zipper, so long-term durability. There are adjustable buckles on the side, um, and it's also big enough to actually get the board back in there and all the kit. So you can literally get everything, the pump, everything back into that bag quite easily. You don't have to struggle. On the bottom, there's four pads to, uh, to sort of keep more uh, durability on the bottom. There's drainage out there so you get that water. You're probably packing up your board wet so it allows some airflow through there. And then just getting it to the water. Nice, big, wide mesh line straps. Just really easy to carry. Of course, the board itself is only 19 pounds. So if you're carrying it inflated, but if you're bringing it to the beach, it's really nice to have a good quality bag kit. Now, the drift starts at $6.99. Uh, we have great inventory and ship coast to coast in Canada. Uh, it comes in two sizes. There is the 10.8, here in the native and we also have the classic graphic right here so you, some people really like the wood grain with the light gray decking um, and then it also comes in classic in another size called the 11.6 so if you're a larger paddler or you want to paddle with a dog or your kids on the front you've got a little bit more surface area with that larger board and more stability that 11.6 comes in this sunrise graphic as well as the classic if you have any questions, visit us at liveoutside.ca. We do have a toll-free number. You can give us a call anytime, and we'll be happy to discuss these models and any details that we didn't clear up here. I hope you have a great day, and we hope to get you out on the water this season.